So hey everyone, in this video, we are going to implement a logging system within our backend application. This allows us to record application events, errors, and all the debug information across these multiple files. Okay. So the so logging is an important part when it comes to scaling a, a backend application because all the errors, events, and all those warnings should be, um, you know, recorded and it should be stored within a file. Okay. And along with a particular timestamp, when, the, when did this uh, actual event occur and all of that stuff. Okay. Let's say when an action is performed within the backend. Okay. So either it, it was it successful or was it not? And what is the response? Like what was the error? So we are going to record all of that and store it within our files. Okay. By this, it allows developers to uh, know exactly where the application is going wrong and to track when did it happen and all that okay so to do this we have a very popular library that is called as winston okay this is the library which we will be using and you see that it is uh, very popular it is having about 10 million weekly downloads probably this is the ideal package which we might want to consider while uh, implementing any kind of logging within our backend application okay so this is the documentation which you can find within npmgs or you can also visit their official documentation as well so it gives us a set of instructions how we can actually use it so why do we actually need logging in such kind of backend applications so as i told we need effective logging and debugging so this library allows us to log messages in a very consistent and a structured format so basically the format which we'll be using is json right so when it comes to debugging or monitoring so this uh, particular library or this logger system will actually makes it easier to analyze logs programmatically okay or even manually if you want to do that and this library has multiple transports basically uh, transports are nothing but if you want to log the messages to console or you can even log them to the files which we will actually be doing and also if you want you can log them to our databases as well okay so this makes it uh, very flexible uh, when it comes to logging and also it has many logging levels okay for example we can set the logging level to warn error or um, even debug info all of that okay so we can mark that and also we can you know filter or prioritize messages based on their severity by this we ensure critical issues that are always highlighted and also we can create uh, any kind of format that we want okay so ideally we would be using json but you can also customize it according to your needs okay you can also include timestamps the request id and all of that stuff okay so you can read this documentation if you want it's uh, very good and the best part is all of this happens asynchronously so it doesn't block the event loop and uh, our application doesn't hang in the middle okay so it happens asynchronously so that's why the log operations doesn't cause any kind of uh, performance issues within our backend no? Also, they have given here an example how exactly we can use it. So we uh, import Winston and we uh, call a create logger method on this and pass in all the options that we want to configure Winston to do within our application. So we set the level and then the format which we want and some metadata if you want to uh, have that. So basically for every log information, this has to display. And also as I told the transports, okay. So how do we want the logs to be appeared? So either if you want in the file, we can uh, import that within a file, giving the file name and the level. And also if you want, we can just display in the console just a simple one and also if you want we can just store it in our database okay so we will be uh, obviously implementing the file system and also we can based on the uh, node environment either production or development we can customize how do we want to display the logs okay so enough talking let's now immediately go ahead and install the library that is pnpm install winston okay so once that's installed, we can create a folder over here called core and here let's create a logger.ts. So let us first import few things from Winston. That is we want the create logger function. So this is the main function which will uh, use to create a logging system. So and then we just want to uh, import the transports. Transports and then the format. Okay. So in what format do we want to uh, display the logs? So first we need to, um, so here I want to create file based routing. Okay. So basically it has to store all the logs within our file. So I'm just going to create a directory and uh, first I need to check if that directory even exists. Okay. So I'm just going to set that to uh, log directory. So which is going to come from our environment variables. Okay. So let's go to our uh, config file and let's export a constant over there for the log directory. So export const log directory 
so this is going to be just the root of our application if you want anywhere else you can just uh, do that so, so let us set the log directory so this can uh, be anywhere within your file so i'm just going to leave it at the root of our uh, you know application so i'm just going to update that within my dot env file so you too can do that so once you have set that up you can import the log directory from your uh, config files okay so, or you can just uh, by default put this to logs if you want let's first check if the logs doesn't exist so if no dir okay so then we want to create them okay so we just set the dir to path dot resolve so basically giving getting the absolute path and then setting setting the logs so here okay so we don't need the underscore dir name so that is only for common js modules so we just want to set that to logs folder okay basically within this uh, root of our application so let us import path so once that's done we now need to check if our um, you know this particular directory even exists so if we want to check within our file system so let's import file system from here okay so if file system dot um, exists sync so we are uh, checking if the directory even exists then we just want to uh, you know create that one okay so fs dot make the sync so this is happening synchronously which will actually block the event loop if you know that okay so uh, we, we can just do that if that's not a problem so if it doesn't exist then we want to create this so now we just want to set the log level depending on the environment that we are in either development or production so let us uh, store that within a log level and we can just get the environment okay so let's check for the environment if uh, we are actually getting that from our uh, config file so in so if that is equal to development then we want the log level to be debug okay so since we are debugging in development so if it is in production we just want to use info or uh, let's use one okay so once that's set up now we just want to create the logger okay so i'm just going to export this so that i can just uh, you know import this where i want to you know display uh, create the log for that okay so let us export default this uh, create logger and this is going to take in the options right so the first thing is we need the transports which we actually import imported so we need to specify what transport we want so that is um, we also want the console as well as the file based okay so we can so that's why this takes in an array so here we initialize the transport dot console so i'm not i'm not going to accept this so this uh, indeed is going to take in the level so that is going to be the log level that we created over here and then we just want to set up the format over here okay so this format is going to be uh, we are going to combine main, multiple formats so that's why uh, we are going to use a combined function within format and uh, there are many options you can just check out the documentation because there are a lot for me to tell so regarding this application i'm just going to do what is right for this uh, application so i just want to set format dot errors and we just want to load the stack inside that okay so we also need the stack and also we want to pretty this okay also if you want you can use colorize uh, or we can do pretty pretty print so the first transport is uh, for the console and i also want to create another transport for the files okay so for the files i just want to create a particular file for every single day okay so for every single day it has to rotate the particular file over there and uh, we just also want to provide some configuration so this doesn't come uh, from the simple package that we use from winston so we also need to add in another package called as winston daily rotate file okay so let's uh, go ahead and do the installation so pnpm install winston daily rotate file like this so this should be winston and give this a install so once that's done we can create a daily rotate file and pass that as a option so let's call this uh, um, let's call this daily rotate file or we can call this yeah daily rotate file and this is going to uh, initialize the constructor for the da daily rotate file which we just installed so new daily rotate file and this takes in some options here as well so again we need to specify the level to be the log level and then we uh, also need to specify the file name so there we are just going to set the date okay so the file name is based on the date so which date the logs are recorded so that's what it makes sense so we set the file name to the dir and then pass in the date okay and then dash results dot log okay then we can set the date pattern that is going to be 
year, month and date. So you can just change it if you want. And also I want to set this to zip archive true. Okay, so this will compress all the logs uh, into minimum uh, file size. Okay, so then we have is the handle exceptions. So we want to set this to true. So if there's any unhandled exceptions that are not caught. So this ensures all the exception logs are captured within our logs file. And then we uh, set the max size, sorry, max size to like, let's say 20 MB. So it should not cross 20 MB. And then we want max files to be 14 days. Basically it deletes all the older uh, logs that are before 14 days. And then we want to set the format for this as well, okay? So this is going to, um, you know, take in the, again, the format.combine. So that is coming from Winston itself. And here we just want to, so for all the error messages, so all the error logs, we want to inc also include the stack. So we set format dot error and set the stack equal to true, okay? And also we need the timestamp. When did this uh, log was recorded? So format dot timestamp. And then we want the, uh, we want to store this in JSON, right? So we say format, dot json so once that's done uh, there's an error here because this is not an object so once that's done we can now pass in this daily rotate file options as a second transport within this transport array okay so let's pass that here and yeah so we are pretty much done i guess so we can now go ahead and um, import this logger file wherever we want to create a log so before that i forgot one more thing we need, need to set up the exceptional handlers and set this to the daily rotate file so which we actually configured the exceptional handlers handlers right so within this and this takes in an array and also we need the exit on error which which we can set this to false so we do not if there's any error that has occurred which is uncaught or any severe errors so we just don't want to exit the process okay so just let me give you a recap what we actually did. So first we are checking the log directory if it exists within our environment variable. So we use that. If not, by default, it creates a logs folder. Okay. And there it stores all our logs. And first we check if this logs folder exists, then we want to use that one itself. Otherwise, we want to create a directory for that. And then we set the log level. So if it is in development, we want to set this to debug. Basically, we want verbose logs in development but in production we just want minimum logs okay so that's why we set this to one and uh, here we just uh, create the logger first and set this the uh, transports so we are implemented first the console and then the file based okay so which will be a daily rotating file which uh, for every day it will create logs and based on the uh, date format that we set over here so every file name will be the date where all the logs are stored within that file and then we are giving some metadata or some options and then passing it that as the transports okay so for that uh, for daily rotating file we use a package winston daily rotate file and then pass it as a second transport and then we set exceptional handles to the daily rotate file and we just want to exit the process when any kind of unseverity error occurs okay so let's uh, test this out we can now go to our uh, server.ts over here and we can just uh, just once the development server starts running we can just uh, put a logger so we can just auto import that and then we can pass in various other uh, uh, types okay or the levels okay so i just want to uh, put an info here and then say server is running on port the same thing okay so we are getting an error here uh, it's not under the root okay so the score went off outside the source so it has to be inside source and we update the imports so once we do that, we can run the uh, development server. So let's do a pnpm run dev. And let's see if we have a log file that is created. Yeah, there we go. So we have a log. Okay, so that's coming outside the source. So that's fine. So we have a log message recorded here of level info that we just set. And the message is server is running on port 8080. Okay, and the timestamp as well. When did this act? when was this log actually recorded okay so that's working fine and the log is also printed on the console so basically we created two transports right so that is the reason which we are getting ones in the um, in the file system and in the console as well also if you want you can use it in the database we can store the logs in the database as well so this is all uh, about this video and this is just a simple one just for testing as we keep building our application we might need the logger um, in all different parts as well so this is just like a base foundation which 
we want to like extend from other components as we keep on building all right and also you see that the file name is based on the date okay so again if i just uh, exit this and uh, sorry exit this and start the dev server again so another log should be saved here okay so um, yeah you see that another log is saved over here based on the timestamp so if i come back to this project tomorrow and you see that another file will be created okay since we uh, created this daily rotate file right so every file will be uh, daily rotated and after 14 days uh, all of them might be uh, deleted okay so i'm not sure about this max files or maxes which i haven't tested yet so yeah i guess this is all uh, how you can create a logger system within a uh, backend application of course this is just a trivial to do application which is not actually necessary but as you uh, have a big backend project a uh, scalable one so that time we might need to capture all the logs right so this uh, particular uh, tool which we just built can be helpful for you okay so you can keep this within your toolbox okay so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video